Hunter, Hunter for MMP. I'm going to do another episode in my series of Metal on Metal, where I cover introductions and tactics to various games put out by the Gamers Multiman Publishing. We're talking about The Greatest Day here, which is part of the Grand Tactical series, and we'll be looking at Juno Beach and the problem of getting off the beach as the Canadian 3rd Division without taking an undue amount of time, without losing an undue amount of stuff. If you are someone who likes to explore games on your own and figure out your solutions to the problems they present, then please don't watch this because it might spoil you with some ideas where it'd be more fun for you to figure them out on your own or figure out your own ideas. If you've already given it a try and you're ready to listen to what someone else has to say and interact with it, critique it, tear it apart, whatever, or if you have an important huge game coming up where you're going to take over this beach and you don't know what you're doing and all your fellow players are going to be depending on you, then feel free to, to watch this video. I'm posting it on YouTube so that people can leave comments with their corrections to mistakes that I make because this is a complicated game. I'm not the most attentive person on the planet, so I, errors do creep in there. And also, hopefully, uh, people's own suggestions about things that work for them. <clears throat> So, let's take a look at what we're going to do. Um, it's important to, to cover the coastal batteries. I have, uh, for those of you who know the game, there's not a whole lot of naval support for Juno Beach. There are three destroyer units that start there, and I, uh, as a matter of course, move the two extra available th um, DDs, destroyer units, over to Juno Beach because they really need the help. It's important to clear the WN Waffen Nesta 28, 29, 31. That would be here, 28, 29, 31. Those are key, 32, but it's not so hard. You want to minimize your losses, and really important is you want to get off the beach quickly, but you don't want to rush it so much that you waste all of your command points and dispatch points, or you're just going to be waiting at the other end. So the idea is to get off the beach with good tempo, with enough command points left to keep moving and not have to stall and wait an extra turn or two after you get off the beach. We'll look at my principle here, and that is the funnies will land first. Those are the guys with good defense that can attack the beach obstacles. My preferred order of attacking a beach is to remove the obstacles, then the nests, and then the gaps. Now, there are people who disagree with that. There are some who will just reduce the obstacles to the bare minimum to get down to three obstacles where they're not going to inflict any losses, and then go right for the gaps. Okay, fine. That's, that doesn't work the best for me, but it does work for other people. The principle here also is that your engineer units are going to be the last to land because you want to get the nests down. And in this beach in particular, in Juno, there are a lot of nests that you have to reduce in order to get the engineers safely onto the beach. I recommend, although I don't always follow, the idea of taking an easy tempo, not rushing it. That means I'm not going to spend command points every time I have an opportunity. I'm going to try to slow it down and make sure that I get off with tempo and with good initiative and not just at the fastest point possible. Also, uh, in the variant you'll be watching, I'm using rules that are still in development are probably going to become official. Uh, two important things to, to know about that. One, phone lines will not be cut on the first day. Uh, I'm sorry, the first turn. So uh, during the embarbarment of 0700 or the following naval phase, phone lines can't be cut. They can't be cut into nine, until 900 turn. That makes uh, command much more important and allows the German player to expand command points to defend their stuff. And for Juno Beach, that's really, really important. Second of all, we're playing with the variant that will hopefully become a standard rule. We'll see how Adam rules on that. That when you be, until you have cleared the beach on a particular beach, and uh, there are rules specific to that that you know if you've read the rule book, you cannot your units cannot leave the display. So it, in the rules as printed, you have to leave the leaders on display, but units can go anywhere, which means that your armor units can range quite a ways off the beach. In this variant, they cannot. That is, nobody can leave the display as marked by these dash lines until you completely clear the beach. This is going to slow things down on Juno by a turn or two to those of you who've already played without that rule. All right, we are moving on to the game now. Here we are at the game. The first thing we're going to do is a naval bombardment. And I think in in a previous playthrough, I went through every act, I did every action and it just takes a long time so why don't i do some of these on my own and then summarize the results just to keep play tempo going
Oh, I just changed my mind. Let's do the Mabarma together so you can kind of see what I'm thinking. We have got five DDs and a couple other stuff. First off, we're going to try to suppress this unit right here. And actually, I usually use a battleship from Sword to do it, but I don't have that here right now, so we'll suppress that battery. This is an important unit to try to get to have their heads ducked down a little bit. Number three coming up. All right, we get a cohesion hit, but as I mentioned before, we're not cutting phone lines on this 0700 turn. All right, we will attack. Hmm, let's see, let's do this one right here. In case we roll a nine, we did not. And, yeah, let's try this one here. All right, another cohesion hit. That's not so bad. And we will use our rockets to try to take out this one here. All right, we will roll. It's suppressed. I really don't want to spend any points on it as the um, as the German player. It's not worth it. And so that unit is eliminated since it is a rocket. It only gets one shot. And okay, let's work on this guy a little bit. Maybe see what happens. Hmm. Hmm. So I haven't set the German command points here. And it's going to be at about, I'm just going to say about... It'll depend on what has theoretically happened. It's three, I'll put it at three. So is that worth doing? No, it's not. We're gonna roll for that. We get a three and that is enough. So we're okay, no extra damage there. Now I've still got these two landing support craft, but we're gonna use those against the beach defenses since the, the nests are so tough. Oh. The allies, the Canadian players, very happy. They got that down one. And miss with the other one still. That's not, that will help. That little bit of help. So the first thing off is to land with the tanks. And I've not, I'm just kind of going through this. I've played this, I don't know, 20 times or something. A lot. So I'm going to simply go by feel, by intuition. This is not all mapped out is the optimal way to do it, but it should give you an idea of the overall approach. So we'll land here. We're using our um, amphibious tanks, as it were, and let's see if they make it. Look at the sea state, which is pretty high in this game. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. So we get a suppressed result. So we're there. We will take our action, and we will rally. And every action you take is going to call for a resistance nest attack. Nothing. So that's it. I could, if I wanted to, expend a point for a second action. And, you know, the Canadians are pretty good. Uh, this is kind of a tough call, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it here. I try not to spend points unless I really have to. Let's see what happens with resistance nests. Nothing. And then we will attack the beach. And we reduce the nest by one. So that turned out to be definitely worth it. All right, that's one. Now let's land this tank. And the question is, do I want to go right up against this unit? Uh, sure, we're going to land right there. So we'll check the sea state first of all. And it is eliminated. So much for that. It sank. Glub, glub, glub. All right, we'll move in here, and we're going to move next to this unit as well. Let's do a sea state attack. A cohesion hit. That's not so bad. All right, we will take our free action and attack the beach defenses. So first of all, there is going to... Oh, oh before I do anything, there is a, um opportunity fire here. He's at base three, two. He needs a two. He gets it. Okay, he will take an attack against that there now i don't recall i don't think it's fire zone or anything i think it's just a straight roll and that's nothing okay so now the nest will attack possible suppression mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
we could spend a point i think we will because yeah we'll spend a point to do that and that negates that effect and now he attacks the beach defenses and gets nothing all right and our last amphibious tank will drop their sea state attack It is also eliminated. So this is, you know, a little unfortunate. Obviously, you don't want to lose any of them if you, if you don't have to. Losing two is not completely unlikely. Losing all four would be quite the blow here. So the tanks are aboard, a leader is aboard, which is important. And now my advice is to bring in the funnies is the next thing because they can, sub, they can handle the attacks of the weapon that's the best and it's not so crucial if they take a step loss you don't really need these once you get off the beach they're useful but they're not totally mandatory all right now we move from sea state to an obstacle attack and our obstacles are at five no effect now the nest will attack and they'll attack it while it's still on the landing craft since it's a little easier to get an effect nothing the landing craft will attack the beach defenses Hoping, hoping, and gets the nest down by one. The landing craft moves off. And this unit's activation is done, but it can do a second, which it definitely will. This will invoke another attack by the nests. As you can see, with a one, it's not so bad at all. Well, yeah, there I go. Let's see. We can't stop ones. All right, takes cohesion hit. And now we're going to try to get those obstacles down. And they reduce anything by two. And now my preference is to go for the obstacles. Now, no, you will suffer no step losses from obstacles coming onto the beach. This is great because it's a lot safer for everybody now, obviously. So the next guy, let's drop him. Actually, we're going to drop him right there. <clears throat> Here we do the usual obligatory obstacles. It's only three, and then we'll do the nests. And get a cohesion hit on both these guys. Oops. I'm not the fastest with this module. All right, so we did cohesion it. Now, they will attack the beach defenses. Trying to knock nothing. So he's done. And we'll pay another point for a second action. And we will activate attack. Oh, yeah, first the resistance nest. Nothing, and then we attack back ourselves. And we will knock the obstacles down a little bit more. All right, now we have this unit. And I will place this unit right here. Same procedure. First of all, obstacles, which are getting less and less effective than the nests. Nothing. We will attack the beach defenses, reducing the nests by one. He is done. Pay for a second. The resistance nest attack, no effect. And he will attack the defenses. And we get to reduce any by one. So I can keep going on obstacles, and I think I will. Although part of me wonders if I shouldn't start punching down the nests even one more. But I really don't like getting a zero with those obstacles. So we will... <clears throat> drop that there okay i think that's our funnies right i think all the funnies are out so what comes next i like to land now with infantry as i mentioned before well actually we can we can land with these guys these um mobile artillery units i like to wait until the obstacles are below four so that you don't lose a step because these guys are so important in this game the whole campaign game you really need those units they're safe now. Nothing can really happen. We'll take an obstacle. Nothing. And a nest. Cohesion hit. I'm just going to do one and leave it. The landing craft will attack the defenses. Hoping, hoping, nothing. And now I will do no second action because those guys aren't very good against the beaches. <clears throat> Let's bring him aboard right here. Nothing with the obstacles. Nothing with the nests. Affects the beach not. 
And he's done. No second action for that guy. So I was hoping to perhaps knock the nests down just a bit more, but it didn't happen. So let's start landing with our infantry. And I will, yeah, kind of spread my guys out more than I probably should have. That's just the way it goes. All right. My problem, my issue, my, I'm, what I'm muttering to myself about is I should have left the space open for them to land so that the stacking modifier would only be plus one and not plus two. I didn't do it. In fact, maybe I'll wait on that unit then. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I just got to commit, don't I? Yeah, we're going to take the risk here. We'll just plow right in. All right, first of all, obstacles. Nothing. Now, in this case, we're going to wait until after they disembark, and we will attack with the nests. And that's a much better chance. And is nothing. No suppression. Now we're going to roll for opportunity fire from this unit, which would be in a three, and it fails. All right, then. The landing craft will attack the defenses and miss. And these units will not further do anything. I'm not going to spend extra points. That gets the leader on board there. Now we'll land with this stack here. All right, and we'll bring the leader about that in a second. Obstacles, nothing. The nests will attack one of those units and gets a possible suppression. It is suppressed. Oh well, the landing craft attacks the beach defense and it misses. It's done. And let's put the leader on board here. Now this unit right here. Same thing. Nothing. 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 Man, those nests just aren't going down now. Hmm. All right, then. These guys will land here. Oh, there's a suppression. And we'll wait till they disembark. These guys are both suppressed. Well, actually, let's try to convert it. It's a, on a three. No. All right. So these guys both land suppressed. Sorry about that. He is also suppressed since the whole boat was suppressed. The boat will go away doing nothing. And now we will do a nest attack on one of these guys for a six and an additional cohesion hit. So I took a little bit of damage there, but nothing fatal. All right. Okay. So, hmm, hmm. I really wanted the nest down below that, but that's the way it goes. I could have used command points for my infantry, but the, the chances of them being successful are so low. I don't think it's worth it. Well, gulp. We're just going to go in and do it. So let's do nothing. And now this is the ugly part. It's going to be like a seven. Oh, missed. Nice. And we will attack the beach defenses, hoping finally. Yep, finally got one. All right. So that was a good, good landing. Could have been ugly. Right. So first off. Yeah, this is a little, hmm, a little iffy. I think I'm going to wait on that one. This will be the first one to land. Obstacles do nothing. Let's about the nests. Nothing. What about the landing craft? It does nothing. All right, so here's our next question. We can activate the engineer. And it's going to be hit on the sixth table. So let's look at the tables. And if we look at a six, you know, it can take a loss. So this is the question. Do we want to spend a point here or wait till the beaches are reduced a little bit? You know, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait. 
Here we go. So I'm not actually going to activate those guys. I'm going to try to exercise this tempo thing I was talking about. Nothing there. Nothing there. Now, if I get these nests further down, well, I'm not. So that's moot. That's pointless. Right then, here. The obstacles have really been unimpressive in this. Oh, there's that step loss. What do you do? I tried to get it down, but couldn't figure it out. Ouch. Yeah, there are worse things. And now he will attack the beach defenses and misses. All right, and that guy's done. And our final go. The question is whether we land over stacked or land over here. You know, we're going to drop here. All right, so obstacles, anything? No. The nests? Possible suppression? No. Very nice. Now, let's see if there's opportunity fire from that. Oh, yes. Nothing. Well, engineer is charmed. All right, and this will attack the beach defenses. Still nothing there. All right, so that's uh, the Canadians are on the beach. That was from the naval activation. As you see, I saved a lot of command points, and I probably could have burned through a lot more because it's quite possible I'm going to get my division activation next. So some people might have burned it down to about 10. That might not have been a bad idea. I just didn't want to take all those uh, Waffen Nesta hits on my stuff to do so. So that was the decision I did. This is the decision to try to save my guys a little bit. So let's go over here. Uh, maybe a little too conservative. This goes back to the coffee mug. And now we pull our next shit. Second Canadian armor. Nice. We get to activate six guys. And you better believe that our funnies are top of the list. Two. Three. And engineers for the other. Four. Five. And I think I have one more engineer that's in decent shape around here somewhere. And that's a step loss. We'll do this one here. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm hemming it high because I dropped them right next to that, so that's gonna be a um, an opportunity fire possibility. So here we go. First off, we'll use this guy here to attack, and he must undergo a resistance nest attack first. Nothing. He attacks the beach defenses and can reduce the obstacles by one or the nests by one. So here's the question. Which do I go for, go for first? I think I'm going to go through obstacles. All right, over here. Nest attack of zero. He will, oops, I don't want to do that. He will attack the beach defenses and misses. Yeah, all right, over here. Resistance nest should be a zero, nothing. He attacks the beach defenses and misses. <laughs> oh, well, so much for that clever idea. I should have one more of these somewhere, right? No, I guess not. Yeah, well, okay, we're going to have to use our tanks then. All right, so they will attack, so that's not going to be uh, an opportunity. It's going to be a resistance nest, but not. All right, uh, does this happen? Anything? Nope. We will attack the beach defenses. I wish I could have attacked a pillbox there, but I can't. All right, try it again. Nest does nothing. And we get the nest down a little bit, so that gives me just a little bit more room to breathe. Okay. This engineer will... Yeah, see, we can't reduce the nests any with these guys, but we can try to knock down the gaps, so let's get to work on that. There's a cohesion hit. And he will attack the beach defenses. Missing spectacularly. This fellow over here. Another cohesion hit. And 
and see if we can get any of the beach defenses down. Oh yeah, here we go. So I can obstacles. So we're gonna get the gaps down. Just to get working on that. This unit here as well. It's an attack, so it's not gonna present opportunity fire, fortunately. But it does go for a resistance nest. Suppression. Hmm. <laughs> I'll spend a point on that since I got a lot of them. And turn that into a cohesion hit. And now let's see what happens to the defenses. Anything? Oh yeah, there we go. So we're going to drop that. We have to drop that there. So that's two. So the Germans get to place one first. And so we didn't quite get it. I hope the naval doesn't come up quite yet. So let's get these. I'm looking for the counter. Here we go. So the Germans will pick this one here. And then the Allies get to pick one for over here. And we will pick... No, I want it the other way. We will pick this one right there. Okay, so those are our two gaps. I think everyone's activated that can activate. We're going to the next activation now. So this is an example of how to take your time and not burn through all your points. Okay, here we go. So they will unsuppress. And I am not going to spend any command points. These are usually almost all reserved for sword. So I'm not going to spend any command points shooting with these guys, which I could, but not going to because I think in a real game, Sword Beach would be screaming for all those points. So we do get to get rid of the, get that guy off. Now these folks that are behind the beach, we're going to ignore those. They're normally, I think, are just going to run away. These guys will mount up and run away as well, too. We're not going to throw them forward in the beach. I think that's the best way to play this. That's my opinion. Um, obviously, it's possible some of these could be moving forward to defend more, but then they just get plastered by naval fire, so it's usually not, not that effective. But that's how I'll play this one at any rate. Your opponents may vary, and you yourself may vary on that. That'll be good for that activation. Who is next? 8th Canadian. Good. So we're over here. Let's get our command radius. Oh, where'd he go? Yeah, here he is. All right. So we get to do six units. Once again, we're going for funnies. And we are going for engineers there we go rinse and repeat there we go um, we'll knock a nest down So here's a little tricky, and it's a little gamey. I've got the nest down one and the gaps down. So I kind of have to do this, unfortunately, because I want to get a gap over here, which means if the gap goes down, I want to do it on this side. And I don't want to get a two over here and remove both the nests and the gaps, and then these guys are hung out to dry. So let's see if this will work. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Second cohesion hit. And then, come on, nothing. <laughs> well, kind of doesn't matter then. Um, hmm. <laughs> all right well we're gonna have to go just go for it and get the gaps opened everywhere so and he will reduce the nests to zero and yeah yeah it's not going to matter. He's not going to be able to get... I was hoping to be able to move this engineer into the gap this turn, but it's not going to happen. At least I don't see how it's going to happen. Let's... Um, hmm. All right, let's unsuppress him for his activation. Hmm. There's just a gap left. Oh, all right. Yeah doesn't matter let's use this guy 
Although I could, yeah, 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 hard to say. All right, we'll use this one here. There it goes. So we get a gap over here. Whoopie doopie doo. Okay, so he will unsuppress. That's his action. There are no longer any nests to bother us. Yeah. I'll. Hmm. I'm hemming and Han here. All right, we will rally with this guy here. These guys will attack. That's it, everybody, for this activation. At least it got everything down, so that's nice. Because when the next naval chip comes out, all the gaps will open, which is what we wanted. So that's a good sequence of chits to pull. And I think we're going to like this. There we go. There it is, third Canadian. So command points and dispatch points. So our command points are going to go all the way back up. Some would say I was should have burned more of them, but that's the way it goes. Dispatch points will go up one. If I'd had a direct shit, I could have burned some in there too, fine. So, let's see what we're gonna do here. Move to column, two, three, and flip over out of column. And he now has two cohesion hits. He will move into column, jump into the gap, and take a cohesion hit moving out of column. He will unsuppress. And that person will just wait right there. This engineer will rally. This guy will rally. This guy will rally. And let's see what I want to do here. I'm going to save my command points. You know, some people would be shooting away here, but I'm just going to hold off. So we will move him to there just to unstack a little bit. Yeah, now this guy should be active too. And that guy and that guy, they're pretty much just going to hold. He'll do some attacking since they're in command. And they're purple fire, so they're able to fire on a divisional activation. Anything, anything, nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, he will... Do that. He will go to here. Three, six. Oh, can't do that. It's moving by him. Yeah. And the engineer will do nothing. Nor will this guy here. He's activated, but doesn't want to do anything. I could have brought in some air power right away if I wanted to. I'm usually saving it for a little later. So not a whole lot going that activation. I've sort of chosen to not burn my command points by doing stuff with guys there. Yeah. All right. What's next? 12 SS happens off map. I'm just going to leave the 12 SS out because we're not dealing with any of those units. Here's the naval shit. Ah, before I do that, I needed to advance my guys down, as, I, as I'm sure you noticed. So I'm going to do what I usually do. And that will move to there, to there, to there. And we'll move to there. That'll be to here. These will be here, here, and here. And then on this state... Actually, these guys have to come over here. What am I talking about? So that, like that, like that. Then over here... Yeah, where to put the commandos? I'm going to put the commandos over here. And we'll put, well, yeah, we'll go that. And he'll go there. All right, 
So something like that. That should work just fine. All right, naval bombardment again. Let's take a look. This guy got unsuppressed, so let's take care of him again. Now let's just start piling up on guys we want to get rid of. Like that one right there. Nothing. We can use these. Nothing. Eh, maybe we can eliminate this guy. I should have done that first, but you know, whatever. Nothing. There, let's get, sorry, let's get centered again. And the rocket is already gone. So this fire probably won't do much of anything. But you never know. Oh, there we go, cohesion hit. And I think I'll use this one to fire at the battery here, hoping to get rid of it. Oh, no. All right, there's the naval fire. Now our units will simply land. He will land here. There's no resistance. And I'm going to spend a command point with him because he's a good shooter. And we are going to fire at this unit. Nothing. All right. He will drop here. They will drop. Well, actually, we'll put him there. He will go there. These will drop here. He is going to be mounted and drop there. He will go here, and he will be mounted and drop here. All right. All these guys, I forgot, got to land in the same hex. So... Boom. Boom. And we'll spend a second command point to shoot. It's a direct fire. There we go. Oh, no effect. It was still a good attack. Still a good attack. All right, we don't want to drop anybody right next to him. If I can help it. I just don't want the um, overwatch or the opportunity to fire. And that's the same here. I could try to make it a long day if this guy blew somebody up. So we'll just play it safe and do that like that. All right, so these guys would have come down the first day, the first time, which I neglected to do. And now they come down the second time. There we go. All right, that was an able chip. Ooh, must not forget, gaps are open. Direct command shit. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'll at least spend one. These fireflies are great. So we'll attack. <sighs> also nothing. What do you do? <laughs> And he's very tough, though. So, does he have any damage on him? He does not. Uh. All right. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm just going to take a risk that I can get up there fast enough. So that'll be it for the direct chit. German direct, nothing. And some Canadian. Now, as um, in this one, even though it's the last chit pulled, I'm not. I'm going to let it play because I'm just going to assume that there's so many other chits across the board that those are the last ones being pulled. So every now and then it might happen that an important chit here is, is not pulled that turn and waits till next turn. But we're not going to worry about that here. All right, I thought I had someone still left over here. And these guys had not moved yet. So we activate an additional six. One. Hmm. What do we got here? Oh, I might as well start attacking. Two. Three. Uh, let's get some. Yeah, kind of don't have engineers over there, which is always a problem with this front. He's coming in next turn, but I don't have him there right now. All right, we're going to activate him and see if we can perhaps assault. That's four, five. Looking at one more. All right, guess it's going to just be a lot of low odds attacks. All right, move that with him. And I am going to take a second action with that engineer just to speed things up a little bit because I was a smart aleck and put mines here, so I'll move him with a second action. He will get out of the way. Moving into column, one, two and it's kind of out in the open but I want to start getting some guys attacking him two yeah it's kind of hard to know this mine is plugging things up so I want to move him over there and we'll take a hit he's going to move just to there And they're going to do this just to get some firepower on that guy. Nothing. Turns it into a heavy barrage, though. All right. Oh, I have to add the commandos into the... Uh, which I didn't do yet. So they'll we'll just say they got pulled last. That was my mistake. They should have gone in the cup sooner. How about attack? Nothing. All right, those guys will move there. He will switch to column and see if he can assault through the gap. I know, good luck with that, right? Attack here. Nothing. Oh, possible suppression. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll burn a point to keep that away. Yeah, and these guys are just going to hang out here. I don't want to overstack there because the commandos will be going in. All right. And then we'll move him to there, and that's good enough. And now our last activation will be the commandos. All right. So first off, I think there's a... Yep. Nothing. Second action? No. 
Second action. Yeah, attack. Rolling for those zeros. Second action. No. Second. Yes. Attacking for a zero. Second. Yep, I'm just gonna roll for zero. Nothing. All right, that was that. The mighty commandos. All right, that's it for this turn. So this gives you an idea of how I go about doing it. I will do one more video to show actually getting off the beach. Stop here if you're done. Amazing if you made it this long. Uh, you can see at least the way that I approach things. Uh, it's a pretty decent result. I only took one step loss. Everything's reduced. And now my next job is to clear out there. Because when you look, I have to clear within three of that and three of that. So that means these areas right here and this unit right here. We gotta clear these out of here and then the beach is open. So I hope this was helpful, at least for the, the 0700 turn of showing you how to land here. The dice weren't that unusual. I would say one thing that was unusual was I didn't get any zeros on the obstacles. Normally one or two stacks would have, would have had drift markers on them and such. But it can happen this way too. It's not so bizarre. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll work on the second one in case that's interesting. So die.